Welcome back to the Ad Manager video series. I'm Morley, and in this video, we'll walk you through how to create an ad exchange order in your Ad Manager account. If you haven't already, you should watch the previous videos in this playlist to help plan your inventory structure. The first step is to consider what inventory sizes you want this line item to target. As you may remember from a previous video, here are some of the most common inventory sizes. You can click here to learn more about different inventory sizes. The most popular sizes for leaderboard and anchor ads are typically wide rectangles, but size varies based on desktop or mobile. For desktop, you'll typically see leaderboards on top and on mobile you might see anchor ads on top or sticky anchor ads on bottom, which stay in place as a user scrolls. You'll then want to log into your ad manager account and click into your delivery tab. Then click on orders and start a new order. Name your order something that will help you remember what the order is for. Let's say you receive a request from an advertiser for a summer campaign. You can name your order Adventure Summer Campaign, so you'll remember what the order is for. You'll list ad exchange as the advertiser and set the trafficker who is the person in your organization responsible for this line item. Next, you'll fill in any additional advanced settings that are relevant to your order and click Add Line Item. Now that you have an order, I'll walk you through creating a line item. On the Ad Type screen, you'll be prompted to select either a display or video line item. Select a display line item when you want to show standard ads and a video line item if you want to show video ads. For a display line item, the ad type will be set to standard. And for video line items, the display type is set to video. Next, you'll name your line item. Line item names must be unique within the order. So choose a unique name. I've selected a display ad and we'll call it adventure underscore summer underscore homepage. You'll want to set your line item type based on the type of campaign you'll be running. Learn more about line item priorities in the next video. And then under the expected creative section, list the expected sizes of the creatives you'd like this line item to serve. You can customize your delivery under the delivery settings section. If you don't have a specific date or time in mind, set your delivery settings to immediately and unlimited. If you do have days and times you'd like this line item to serve, or if you wish to set a per user frequency cap, you can do this under the adjust delivery section. In the targeting section, you can select all the relevant ad units you'd like to target. After you confirm these settings, you'll click Save. Lastly, click into your ad exchange line item and select the Creatives tab. Click Automatically Generate Creative. Once you've selected this, you will see a creative pop up in your line item. Make sure to save your line item. Congrats! Your ad exchange line item is now complete. Thanks for tuning in today, and I hope you found this video helpful. For more support, you can find links to our help center in the description below. And make sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below so you can stay up to date on our latest tips for Ad Manager. See you next time.